confident students who are willing to kind of push the envelope a little bit and get out of their uh, comfort level and um, students that are go-getters that are excited and, and enthusiastic about research um, and are you know willing to work hard and uh, create a good reputation for themselves to uh, open doors for them for later whether it be in the same department or just through faculty. As we have freshmen working in the research labs. Um, it really depends on the professor's yeah. need for mm -hmm. help. Um, it's helpful it for students yeah. to oh, let a professor know if they have work study or financial aid, but oftentimes well, professors do have funding to pay students in their own time as well. Sometimes we find that students learn about opportunities from the professor. I've had several students tell me I talked to Dr. So-and-so and asked if he had any work or she had any work, and they said, sure. So if you're a student who's doing well and showing that you're very persistent and hard worker, they're likely to give you a chance. So there's a lot of different opportunities available through re undergraduate research, and it's just an opportunity for students to work closely with the professor, other students, and mass and graduate students on um, conducting research, learning how to operate equipment and tools, conducting tests, writing papers, attending conferences. Um, so it really gives them the opportunity to apply what they're learning in class in a research lab. Sometimes you'll see these postings. If you walk through the engineering and the science buildings, you'll see that there's a posting. It'll say, lab workers wanted, students for an opportunity. Students who have work study sometimes are very easy to place because if the department has work study money and you have work study eligibility, they can make a match. And sometimes, if it sounds like it might be interesting work, you could even volunteer and not be paid because that experience is what's the value. It's, mm -hmm. it's money is important, but having that experience makes it something that might be the difference between you getting your next position because that's not on your resume. Any type of experience that seems to be related to the opportunity you might be pursuing is always beneficial. Um, you know, it's really crucial that students get some type of experience before they graduate, um, either as an undergraduate research student or as an intern. Uh, to be competitive when you're actually out there looking for a full-time job, you've just got to have that experience. And oftentimes students will have two or three opportunities before they graduate. So although um, the first position may not be the most ideal or what they're really interested in, it's really going to help them get the next opportunity. So I think of these as stepping stones into greater opportunities every year. We make it really easy for students to come in and meet with us. I oftentimes take walk-ins, and if I'm not available, Joan who sits at our front desk can make an appointment, or a lot of times students will just email me and I'll make an appointment with them. But I think it's really important your freshman year to have a resume and start connecting with professors, getting to know them, getting to know the local employers so that when an opportunity does come up, you can certainly apply. Mathematics always good. Uh, sometimes you'll see that some professors are looking for people maybe with a little bit of programming experience. We recognize most freshmen don't come in with that experience, so sometimes getting those courses mastered in mm -hmm. your first couple semesters will give you a better opportunity as you go forward. And they're everywhere. You can find them on the internet, you can find them in the Career Center, you can find them through Bronco Johnson. Well, the only way to get the chance is to apply. Mm -hmm.